and I know it not. When I sin, when you know it, when I ask that you will blot out, O God Almighty, and let a new spirit renew in me. Mighty God, unpure my impurity and fill me with your pureness. Oh, mighty God, today I pray that you will have your way as we would have self-examination and repent from, oh God Almighty, for your refilling, for your cleansing, for your purification to make us pure. You will be our judge. It's not what we will say. There won't be no acceptable excuse that you will join in compromising against our soul far upon that time when you call us for judgment, dear God. It is not too late, I pray and I believe, God. The time is still available for us, dear God. Let us see ourselves for the not of the cares of this life, in spite of the things that we have to be a part of. For life needs and maintenance, dear God. Guide us, instruct us is easy. Protect us all today, I pray, Heavenly Father, dear God. And even now, dear God, I lift up my mother before you, dear God. Have your own sweet way in her life. Bless each and every one of us this morning in this platform, dear God. Everyone that is here, everyone that will join. The moderator, the founder, oh God, the doctors, the ministers, the pastors, God, giving servant. And who haven't as yet, oh God, will do it before. Time is no more. How do I know a sweet way? I pray. In Jesus Christ, holy and precious name, and I say amen. But amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lisa. The altar, Lord, I'm waiting for the fire. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting, Lord, I'm waiting for the fire. My all is at the altar, Lord, I'm waiting for the fire. Lord, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Lord, I'm waiting for the fire. Lord, I thank you this morning, oh God. I thank you this morning, oh God. My all is at the altar, Lord. I'm waiting for the fire, oh God. I just thank you this morning, oh God. I just worship you this morning, oh God. I am unworthy, God, but Jesus, this morning I'm asking you, oh God, for forgiveness this morning, oh God. Lord, here I am this morning at the altar, Lord. I sacrifice myself this morning, oh God. Lord, that Jesus, nothing in my hands I bring, Lord, but closer to you I want to be, Lord. Close to thee, Lord, close to thee, Lord, all along my pilgrim journey. Savior, let me walk with you, Lord. If I don't walk with you, Lord, what would I be this morning, oh God? Lord, I just thank you for this privilege, oh God. Come at this altar, Jesus. Lord, Jesus, hear my cry this morning, oh God. Order my steps in your word, God. And let no sin have dominion over me this morning, oh God. I worship you this morning, oh God. I honor you this morning. I praise you this morning, oh God. I glorify your name this morning, oh God. Sweet heavenly Father, hear my cry this morning, oh God. Lord, we get the word at this altar, oh God. 
God Almighty, Jesus, we get the word, oh God Almighty, hear my cry this morning, oh God, I just thank you, Jesus, my God, this morning, oh God, let us pay attention to your word, God, let us pay attention, Jesus, hear my cry this morning, oh God, Lord, here I am this morning, oh God, I am unworthy, I am undone, but with Jesus, oh God, I will make it, oh God, help me to make it right with you, God. Lord Jesus, thank you for another chance, oh God, that I can make it up with you, oh God. I just worship you this morning, oh God. I just honor you, God. Lord, you said clean hands and a pure in heart, they shall see God. Here we are this morning, oh God, working together, oh God, to make it right. Oh God, I thank you this morning, oh God, I worship you this morning, oh God, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve. My God is always here for us, he's never too busy to hear our cry. My God promised never to leave us nor forsake us, but to be with us even unto the end. My God, word is settled in heaven forever, my God, word is settled in heaven Oh, God, hear us this morning, oh, God. Please, Lord, do not pass us by this morning, oh, God. Do not pass us by this morning, oh, God, as we call upon your name this morning, Jesus. Lord, you alone knows all about it, Jesus. You know about it, God. You know every heart. You know, I know every heartache. You know every pain, my God. And Heavenly Father, you say, take it to you in prayer, oh, God. Here we are seeking more about you, God, more, more about Jesus we want to know. Oh, God, give us understanding, give us wisdom, oh, God, as we call upon your name daily, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for privilege, God. Lord, thank you for life. Thank you for waking us this morning, oh, God. Thank you for each and every one, God Almighty, who, who is on this, this prayer line, Jesus. We thank you for them, God Almighty. We thank you. We thank you. We worship you. We adore you. We exalt you, God. Lord Jesus, we cannot cross Jordan alone, God Almighty. So much Jordan in our life, God. Sometimes it back up, bank to bank, Jesus. We cannot even cross over. But Jesus, I know you is able, God. You will fix it for us, God. You say we must take everything to you in prayer. Leave it there, oh God. We thank you for the cross, Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Oh God, Calvary's cross. We shall never forget. We can't forget Calvary, oh God, you paid all for us, God Almighty. Oh God Almighty, oh God, if salvation was to buy, the rich would have and the poor would not have it. But God Almighty, salvation is free, my God. We can come to the throne of grace. God Almighty, this morning, oh God, we put everything in your hands. We put everyone in your hands this morning, oh God. Because without you, God, we can't make it in God Almighty. Without pure, clean heart we cannot make it oh god so this morning we are privileged oh god to ask for forgiveness Oh, God Almighty, Jesus, this morning, oh, God Almighty, oh, God, Pastor Mitchell, oh, God Almighty, talk about, oh, God, the coming of the Lord, and God, help us to be ready, Jesus, help us to be ready, waiting, God Almighty, oh, God, salvation, oh, God, we have to have Jesus, so let us not worry about material things, oh, God, we with, that will not profit anything, but let us hold on to the unchanging hand of God. Sweet Heavenly Father, hear our cry this morning, O God. We put each and every one before you this morning, O God. The pastors, O God, the warriors this morning, each and every one, God Almighty, on this line this morning, O God. We are here at the altar, Jesus, to make it right with you, God, and help us, O God, to mean it from our heart, not to have a wavering spirit, oh God, but to come boldly, Jesus, oh God, with a repented heart. Oh God, we just thank you this morning, oh God, we just appreciate you, God, and let your will be done, oh God, as you carry us through, God. Lord, we give you thanks, we give you the praise, we give you the glory and honor. Have your way this morning and touch every heart, the backsliders, the sinners, the children this morning. God, we just thank you, oh God, for privilege mighty God and let your will be done this morning cover us under your precious blood this morning as we say thanks for another day in Jesus name
In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If you withdraw yourself from me, to whom, Lord, or whether shall I go? This morning, Almighty God, I give you glory, I give you honor, I give you praise. I say thank you, Lord, for this another opportunity, O oh God, that I can come in your presence. I am thankful to you this morning for the breath that you have given me again, Almighty God. Lord Jesus, I could have gone where many go with no message to return. But this morning, here I am, God, still able, oh God, to cry out, Abba, Father. And so, as I thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards me one more time, I ask you this morning, Lord, for a washing, for a cleansing, for a purging. I pray this morning, God, that Lord Jesus, I God, I pray this morning, God, that my life will speak of your beauty. My life will speak of your glory. I pray this morning, Almighty God, that your light will shine out of me and will cause someone open in darkness this morning to grip that blessed hope uh, that there is hope in King Jesus this morning. Truly, Almighty God, it is not the works of any that we should boast, uh, but it is only through your loving kindness and your tender mercies. And this morning I am saying, thank you, God, Thank you, God, for this another day. Spirit of God, as we come before you this morning, we just pray, Almighty God, that Lord Jesus, you will reveal yourself to us, God. This morning, Almighty God, mm, I pray that you will give us direction. Oh, God, so the path that we need to take today. So it's a part that we do not need to venture to the because I'm both level one. And I pray this morning, Holy Spirit, that as you will guide us, our God, we will be obedient, Almighty God. We will not be stiff naked this morning, O oh, Spirit of the Living God. But I am praying, Holy Spirit, that you will lead us, that you will guide us along the way this morning. Oh Lord, we approach your altar this morning. Oh Spirit of God, with many different desires, with many different needs this morning. And so we come to call upon you because you said in your word, call upon me while I can be found. Lord, you said while we are yet speaking, you will answer. And so this morning, God, I pray that as we come this morning, that we will just pour our souls out before you. I pray this morning, God, that we will lay our altars or give squarely upon the altar because God, uh, when we lay our gifts upon the altar this morning, uh, oh God, you will send the fire. Send the fire this morning, Jesus. Send the fire this morning. Oh, Spirit of God, uh, you have brought us to the end of another week, to another Friday, Almighty God. You have brought us to another Friday, Almighty God. We are eternally grateful. And this morning, oh God, this morning, our souls are heavy. Our spirits are sore this morning. But we are praying, God Almighty, that you will send deliverance this morning. We are praying that you will send healing. We are praying just for a word this morning, Almighty God. A word this morning that will change our situation. A word this morning that will change change our circumstances. I pray this morning, Almighty God, that you will give us that strength this morning. And no matter what we are going through, Spirit of the living God, that our focus will be upon you this morning. Oh God, you said in your words that you are touched with the feeling of our infirmities. 
Lord, this Almighty God, this morning, we're crying out unto you this morning, and we are asking you, Spirit of God, that you will show up this morning, show up for your people this morning. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, we are to you this morning, God. You are a God of war. You are a God of war. But I'm asking you this morning, Spirit of God, that you will put back the sword in your put back your sword this morning. Put back your sword this morning. God, the only John sword we want you to come with this morning is that against people that is prevailing in our society. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That is the only John sword we want you to come with this morning, Captain of the Guard. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Today is declared as a national day of mourning against, oh God, the ruthless killings of our children, of our children, of our children. But God is not mad at this morning. Even the very methods, the very perpetrators this morning will be walking the streets dressing them. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, we're asking you, God Almighty, that you will put a field around our children. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, especially our oh, girls this morning. Yes, God, they made the headlines more than the boys. Yes, the boys have been abused. The boys have been molested. But God still the girls for whatever reason, God. But this morning, Almighty God, we are praying against the sacrifices this morning. God, have you made I mean, that was done. I'm seeing the spirit realm God against this pillar. But we are asking you this morning, Holy God, that you will watch us in the name of Jamaica. You will cast the God Almighty every king of every street. Lord God, Lord God, we pray this morning, Holy Spirit. Against this country, there is a living God. Our children are living in fear. Our children are living in fear. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, oh God, oh God, please come and stand at this morning against the blood sacrifice, uh, mighty God, uh, against the organ sacrifice, uh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. God, you send your word, my son of all blow, we tell his bread, Lord God, Lord God, but it is not so for many people, Almighty God, they take all them. In all kinds of evil treaties, mighty God, they get rich treaties. Oh, still stop living, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. But this morning, this morning, Lord, it is not new to us because the devil has kept you over the high snicker and he said to you, Jesus, if you will bow down and worship me, you you can see I can't, I can't. But because it is not, because you are not going to be like you, belong to you, because you are there. You are and the soul is still up. The world is a true America. And this world is God. If people would take time out, just to know that it's morning, then they would move from God. He's just shining over our country onto the evil poison of darkness that possess nothing. God, say what can satisfy a man just for a minute. But we say, 
You know everything comes to the need of God. That God is a growth that comes through this morning. I will ask you, God, that you will set up seraphims and seraphims with flaming forces this morning. Mighty God, mighty God, let us respect this morning. That is carried in Chicago. Signs in the book of Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are pleading this morning. Hell for the maker, we are pleading this morning. Hope for the maker, mighty God, mighty God. We just pleading in the sunshine that we're asking you, God, mighty God, we are the weary of heart, we'll call some stuff, and we'll call God to you. We are praying this morning that righteousness this morning will return to Almighty in our country. God, and that we will begin again to preach the message of repentance, to preach the message of repentance in this morning. And that it is in the end of heaven. God Almighty, because if we miss heaven, we will be trusted in time for the because there is no Lord God. This morning we are giving you the things of the mission's mind with us. Spirit of the living God, Lord Jesus, let your fire, let your fire continue upon the earth this morning. That is erected against your glory. Let fire this morning upon the earth of That is erected against your glory. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, we need you. We need you. Jamaica needs you. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. We're asking you to soak this morning in your mercy. We're asking you this morning, Jesus, that you will stop in your mercy this morning. Spirit of the living God. Oh. 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 Here this morning, here 
fry this morning. Hear the cross this morning. Hear the cross this morning. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, cause us to purge, cause us to repent, Lord Jesus, your word said, put my people, put my people, who are calling in my name, when holy self I pray, I speak my faith, I turn from your evil then I God will hear from him. And I will shield your life this morning, God, this morning. Help us to repent. Lord Jesus, help us to confess. Help us to turn. Help us, God, to be humble before you. You are not one that you should lie, but God will make it. He said, I'm to Lord Jesus, he said, I'm not going to go. In the perfect, uh, because this is the day, and that is the day, and this is the great quarter, and this is the great quarter. But our uh, hearts are stars of you, Almighty God. My God, and we turn our hearts back to you, turn our hearts to you. Lord God, we are with you. We will walk with you, your God. We will speak your direction. Oh, mighty God, mighty God. And we will speak only as you have said. Oh, God, that as your word said, there are lying prophets. I have not called them and I have not sent them. But this morning, this morning, Jesus, open us to your truth. Open our eyes to your truth this morning. Oh, God, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And wrap this up and a bending old said, We will not pray to your musical king, Lord God. We are moving to some music that is not of you, Almighty God. But I pray this morning, Lord God, that you will give us spiritual ears to get the source of the music. I God, I God, to the praise of the music this morning. Oh, spirit of the living God. And the sound of heaven is totally different. Lord God, from the sound of the world, help us this morning, God, to take the music we are going to. Oh, Spirit of the living God, I pray this morning, Lord God, for a walking and a cleansing in the body of Christ. And I pray. That you will stop every entrance and every loophole this morning. Mighty God, mighty God, that my analysis is entering into our worship. I pray this morning, Holy Ghost, that we will return to the altar and we will rest upon you, God. I pray this morning. Spirit of the living God, that you will wake up the weary, the weary, the weary, the wake us up, God. Lord God, we are in our hearts of hell. Spirit of the living God, but wake us up this morning. Take us up this morning, that we will return to the altar, and we will put on our way in, and we will lift up until we hear that we must pursue, because we will repent, and we will recover. The enemy has snatched so many things, God, that belongs to you, that belongs to us, that we are falling asleep, and we will get into the but this morning, this morning, Lord, come, Lord, God, we are praying now for one more anointing, for one more privilege. We are speaking in this morning, so in the rest of God, that we need to pursue the enemy, and we will not only pursue this morning, but we will overtake, we will come to us. We will recover and worship will return to Zion in the good and sad way. Mighty God, mighty God, begin with me this morning. Begin with me this 
Lord, in the Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, my greatest Lord and Almighty God, that word it will return to you, oh Spirit of God, that our voices this morning, Lord Jesus, will be heard. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Hear this morning, hear this morning, hear the cry of my heart this morning, God. Hear the cry of my heart this morning. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, I put this temple of the flock before you this morning. Oh, pastors, Lord God, Lord God, open the ears of our pastors, open the ears of our leaders. That they will hear the bleaching of the sheep. That they will hear the bleaching of the sheep. And they will arise, God Almighty, and go find the sheep that is wounded. They will go and receive out of the bear's mouth, out of the lion's mouth. And they will be God. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, open the world. Suffer the this morning. Oh, God, 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 oh, Oh, return, Holy Ghost, return, return, Holy Ghost. We do not want to be operated out of rituals, but we want to be operated under your lead. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, is the heart of our worship, is the program. Here's the program to start it. Here's the other to ask it. And set your agenda, God, that we will follow. Because unless we follow your blueprint, we will miss it in the mind. But this morning, this morning, this morning, oh God, oh God, oh God, one more time. One more chance, Lord, some so called out to you, some so called out to you, God, from his prison. And he said, I'm not in the world one more time. Some so cry out for the anointed one more time. We're asking you this morning that you will anoint us as leaders one more time. I God, I God, I God. And we will turn from our own ways and we will return unto you, God. Because when we will have come to a total surrender, Lord, our ears will be open to the bleaching of the last sheep. So, for faith, walk this morning. So, for faith, walk this morning. And I pray, God Almighty, that we will not return the way that we came. But Holy Ghost, you will take full control and you will take charge. And we will be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise that is due unto your name as we exalt you this morning above every other. Thank you for this another body. Thank you, God, for breakthrough. Thank you for coming through for us. We're waiting, we're waiting. We are waiting, Lord. We are waiting. Mighty God, mighty God. Come by here this morning and let only your will be done in our lives this morning as we look to you. Children of God, welcome to Faith Walk this morning. Welcome to another morning of worship. Welcome this morning. Welcome this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus. My soul, my soul, my soul, my soul. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I cry out to you this morning, Spirit of the living God. Oh God, blessed Savior, thou will guide me. 
Aleluya. Coming to deliver the word of the Lord to us this morning. This is Sister Marcella Savon. I pray that we will pray with her, we will pray for her, we will preach with her, and that this morning we will have a supernatural encounter with our Savior. Alter is now over to you, Sister Marcella, in care of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory Thank to the name of the Lord. Thank you, woman of God. Let me Let's say good morning to everyone, to the ministers, to their hosts, to the intercessors, the prayer warriors, and everyone on this platform. Good morning. I just want to give God thanks for giving me this opportunity to share with you a word of encouragement. Let me tell you, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a speaker, but God would have me this morning to share a word. And I'm hoping that this word will encourage somebody's heart. Uh, we're going to look at, this is a well-known passage that we have read a number of times. And so I'm just going um, to expedite time because I know people have to go to work and other places. We're just going, I'm just going to do a few verses from 1 Samuel 30. 1 Samuel 30. And I'm just going to do a few verses. I hope everybody can hear me clearly. Yes, we are hearing you. Clearly. All right. Thank you. So 1 Samuel 30. And it says, and it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag, on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were with their win, that were therein, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. Going to verse 6, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abithar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee bring me hither the ephod. And Abithar brought hither the ephod to David. And David inquired inquired at the Lord saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. So David went, he and the 600 men that were with him and came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. I'm going to verse 11. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread. And he did eat and they made him drink water. And I'm going down to verse 15. And David said unto him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master. And I will bring thee down to this company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father God, I just want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to be here this morning. Lord, it's your grace and your mercy that brought me through and brought us through. Thank you this morning that mercy rewrote our lives. Thank you this morning that we can approach your mercy seat. God, we're not worthy. We're all messed up before you, but I thank you that you look beyond our faults, that you saw our need, and that you gave us this opportunity that we can come 
And as we come, we come into the source. We tap into the source this morning. We come in seeking help from you because all other grounds are sinking sun. And so God, we're standing on you this morning, the solid rock. And we're looking to you this morning, our source. God, I ask this morning that you will word my mouth. Whatever it is that you would have me to say, God, I pray that your words will go with clarity. Your words will go with power. Your words will go with accomplish, God, what you want to accomplish breathe upon your words this morning i pray that the hearts this morning will be a soil god ready to receive and so god i pray for another touch because when you touch god we cannot remain the same when you touch your touch makes a difference so touch us god i pray right now god that you touch every heart touch soul touch body touch mind line up some things in us this morning god some things that are out of place are called forth and line you know take us to the spiritual alignment center and line us up this morning god let our hearts and our minds and our thoughts be in you have your god lit way now as we look to you be with everyone on this platform i call for blood coverage right now over our our families and over every one of us know God we're waiting on you we're waiting on you because we can't do nothing without you we can't even work my God without you holding our hand so have your God like we know as we give you the glory the honor the praise God it belongs to you and you deserve it and so we give it to you right now in Jesus name amen Uh, first, we have to um, we have to look at uh, what who were the Amalekites. So today, my subject is what the enemy use what the enemy has beaten up and battered. Use it for the glory of God. Use what the enemy has beaten up and battered. Use it for the glory of God. Today we have to look at um, who were the Amalekites. The Amalekites were descendants of Amalek, an ancient biblical nation living near the land of Canaan. They were the first nation to attack the Jewish people after the exodus from Egypt. They were seen as the enemy of the Jews. The nation of Amalek is long gone, but they live as the internal enemies that we each battle on a daily basis. Amalek grew up in Esau's household, imbibing Esau's pathological hatred of Jacob's descendant along the way. His offering, offspring became the nations of Amalek. King Saul was commanded by the prophet Samuel to finally wipe out Amalek. But he disobeyed God and later lost his right to kingship. It is said in the Jewish tradition, Amalek is pure evil. It is the spirit that inhibits those who lack the fear of God. Amalek is the power of darkness and evil in our world. Then we have to look at the ephod. What is the ephod? The ephod was a vestment worn by the high priest, starting with Aaron. It was said that the ephod contained the urim, meaning lights, and the thummim, meaning perfection, which were gemstones that were used to inquire of God to determine his will in any given situations. Thus, by asking for the ephod, David was, in fact, using the means that God had authorized for inquiring of him to determine his will in the situation. This morning, I want to let you know, I heard the minister, God's servant, talk about an encounter. One that you know without a doubt that it was God who came through for you. God who came to your rescue. I was in that situation. And like Brother David in Psalm 18, verse 6, he declared, In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even into his ears. In Psalm 34 verse six, David said this poor man cried 
And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Isaiah 59 verse 19 declared that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. People of God, the enemy invaded my home. My community was under siege, but God, but God, that's why I'm here this morning. That's why you're hearing my voice. God would have me to encourage somebody this morning. So I am not taking this opportunity lightly or taking this second chance at life for granted. It was God's grace and mercy that brought us through. Thank God that after nine bullets, three surgeries, wounds, and bags hanging off my husband's body, God pleaded mercy and gave him a second chance at life. Thank God, even when a gun was pointed at my ear and I was told, I heard it was six gunmen, that I'm going to kill you like I killed your husband outside, that heaven heard when I called. Uh, can you hear me? I hope you're hearing me. Are you hearing me, everybody? Yes, we are hearing. The writer declared in Isaiah 59, verse 1, his ears are not heavy that he cannot hear. Thank God that central line was never busy. I did not get a message to call back another time. When I called back up Kim, when I called Brother Gabriel Kim, when I called Brother Michael and his entourage showed up, a battalion came to my rescue. I could hear them saying, not tonight, devil. Wrong house, wrong street, wrong address, wrong district. Turn around, Mr. Undertaker, wrong phone call. This is not your night. Back up. Get your reverse. No parlor tonight. I could remember saying to God on the way to the hospital with my husband, God, you can't let me down. He heard my cry and he showed up. Even though I was battered and beaten, knees swollen, fear swollen, I had to remain strong for my husband and my family. People of God. Hallelujah. My husband, my husband started out with a few bottles that he picked up and sold and decided that he was going to start a business. God gave him the vision. He didn't get an education. His mother was not able to take care of them. So he, along with other brothers and sisters, were raised by foster parents. It is said that you see the glory, but you don't know the story. No wonder why the songwriter penned these words. You don't know my story. All the things that I have been through, you can't feel my pain. What I had to go through to get here. You will never understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out. The deacons were asked about my husband's health. People of God once said that now nah come back here in Jamaica and Patwa, that now nah come back here. The other said man must dead so that man can live. I am talking about the brother. He called him, he called this deacon my brother. He, this deacon operated a business and my husband does wholesale and he would send, I could remember every Sunday morning, there was a car out there. He would send whatever he called for and he would wait on him until he sold it and then give him back the money so he could go back to the wholesale and buy again. And every time he needed something, all he did, he called. My husband would send it. 
I remember when he, this deacon didn't have a roof over his head. My husband credited him every material so that he could build a house for himself and his family. And he said that man must dead so that man can live. Hold on, Mr. Deacon, not so fast. Not time to celebrate. Don't pull your champagne bottle yet. Don't take away, don't take any washout yet. No coffee and bread, no curry goat, no rice and peas, no setup. Don't call any band tonight. Don't write any eulogy. Put away your pen. Don't bury me yet. Not time for funeral. I heard the psalmist said in Psalm 118, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You pick me up. You lick me down. I bounce right back. What a hard man to die. For no weapon. I heard the writer say no weapon. You got to speak it over your home. Speak it over your family. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. I came to tell somebody this morning, keep on calling. If you need help, call, call, call. Somebody said, one writer said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18, 21. The enemy wants to kill the sound because the sound of victory tears down the walls of lies of the enemy. It is said that when the high priest would go into the holy of holies, at the bottom of his garment, there were bells and fruits. As long as he was moving, there was a sound being projected by his garment. If he stopped moving and there was no sound, that lets the people know the high priest was dead. And they would drag him out by the rope that was tied around his ankle. If there was no sound, they knew they were in trouble. When there is a sound, the enemy knows he is in trouble. I heard Minister Left when she gets under the program, she said, people of God, unmute your mic, send up our prayers, send up our prayers. Open, we need to open our mouths to let the enemy know that we are alive. Let the enemy know that we are at the gate. And that we are the watchman upon the tower. We need to open our mouth and we need to lift up our sound of praise and worship. Because when we do so, walls will come down, shackles will come down, barriers will come down, red tape will come down, hindrance in our way will crumble. We have to open our mouths and decree and declare God's blessing upon our lives. We have to speak of our situations. When we do, God will show up and show up and give us the victory. God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footstep in the sea and rides upon the storm. The phrase God moves in a mysterious way. Seek answers that we cannot find. William Cooper penned this beloved hymn, and many others, including there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein, and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stain. These hymns have been sung by millions of people, and millions of souls have been blessed. It is said that when William Cooper's mother died, he was only six years old. It is said that he attempted suicide on several occasions, but he was never successful. God preserved his life. Thank God for preservation. Until his death at age 69, William Cooper struggled with depression. It is said that one stormy night, the famous English poet tried to drown himself in the River Thames when he noticed a strange man observing him. 
he went to me in search of a more private means to end his life. In the end, all his suicide attempts that night failed by what he later described as an invisible hand. William Cooper became a believer while he was a resident in an insane asylum. He came upon a Bible on a bench in the garden. God used John 11 and Romans 3.25 to open his eyes to God's goodness. David and his men returned to the city of Ziglag that Achish had given to David. To their absolute horror, they found that Ziglag had been burned by the hated Amalekites. David and his men had recently defeated some Amalekites raiders, and this was probably their retribution for that defeat. Worse than the damage to the city was the fact that the families of David and all the warriors had been captured and made prisoners of the Amalekites. The old phrase say, when it rains, it pours. People of God, life can be intensely painful at times. And we see this in David's life and in the lives of many of us Christians. The question is, when we are faced with these overwhelming situations, how do we handle them? We're told in 1 Samuel 34, verse 4, 1 Samuel 30, verse 4, then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. Verse 6 told us that David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him. They blamed him for the disaster, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. I heard the psalmist in chapter 30, verse 5, says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, I say, but joy cometh in the morning. Jesus says in John 16, 33, in the world he shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Psalm 34, 19 tells us, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but I say the Lord, I say not the government, I say not my neighbor, I say not my family, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. My Bible tells me in Ecclesiastes 3 that to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. There is no situation that is permanent. Your attitude in the situation matters. There is a time to stop weeping and start praying. I could hear Brother David telling himself, come on, David, get it together. Too much is at stake now. You are a leader. You are a soldier. You are anointed. You are appointed. You are called by God and promised by God. You are poised to be the next king of Israel. Come on, man of God. Glory. Preach. Glory. You have to convince before you can convince others. You have to believe in yourself before you can ask others to do it. The Bible told us that David encouraged himself in the Lord. I wish somebody could encourage themselves this morning. You've been going through it. Sickness, pain, attack you, attack your family. Encourage yourself like brother David. Tell yourself that God is in control and don't no matter how it looks, he's going to show up and he's going to do what he does best. I could hear Brother David saying, trouble on every hand, but I have to keep my sanity. Depression is not the answer. Suicide is not the answer. Drugs is not the answer. Drinking is not the answer. Smoking a few packs of cigarettes to forget my problem. Our marijuana is not the answer. The answer is not in these men who went to war with me because they're ready to murder me. They're ready to slaughter me. The answer is in you, Lord. 
I could hear Brother David saying to himself, it is not over now. This is not the end. You have been beaten up. You have fallen again. I know your heart's been torn. And you say there is no point in carrying on. But the race is not over. No, it's not over. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give in. It is not over yet. I could hear Brother David telling himself, I can't die now. Come on, people of God. You're going through your sickness. You're going through your struggle. You're going through, but you can't die now. You have to be there for your environment needs you. Your family needs you. Your church needs you. Your people around you needs you. Tell yourself, I can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe. I don't believe. He brought me this far to leave me. Never said there would be trials. Never said I wouldn't fall. Never said that everything would go the way I wanted to go. But when my back is against the wall and I feel all hope is gone, I just lift my head to the sky and say, help me to be strong. I could hear Brother David telling himself, come on now, Brother David, get your wash rag, dry up those tears. No. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope, hope, thou in God. Hallelujah. No. I could hear him telling himself, it is action time now. Pity party is over. Weeping time is over. You are a fighter, so be a fighter. Fight for your health, fight for your children, fight. Life is a war, fear, not a welfare. Ephesians 6, verse 12, and 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 6. Remember, life is a war, fear, it is not welfare. Are we fighting or are we quitting? There is no neutral ground in the kingdom. You either fight or you become a captive. You're either a victim or you are a victor. I could hear David say, Lord, you promised to be with me in Hebrews 13, 5. I will never leave thee or forsake thee. So David called for the ephod. This is probably the Urim and the Thummim that was in some way attached to the priestly garment Abithar possessed. This was an oracle of some sort that during this time of Israel's history could be asked a yes or no question about God's will and God would respond. First, David strengthened himself in the promises of God. Second, he looked to God for guidance through the direct access to God through the ephod. God answered David through the ephod and assured him to pursue the Amalekites and that he would recover all. We don't have an ephod to call for when we are faced with our problems and challenges in life. But I can tell you that we need to get the word of encouragement from God. We need to get a prayer warrior. Get one who can storm the gates of hell and master the kingdom. Let me tell you something. I heard the writer said in Leviticus 26 8, and five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. I heard Deuteronomy 28 7, the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out. One against the one way and flee before the seven ways. I encourage you this morning. We don't have an ephod to call for. Get you an elder. Get you a deacon. Get you a missionary. Get you a brother. 
Get you a sister. Get you a woman of God. Get you a man of God. Get you a pastor. Get the word of encouragement. Get somebody who can help you to tear down the gates of hell. Get help. Come to faith war. There are some prayer warriors on this platform. There are some intercessors on this platform. The, the other day, I felt like I could not make it. I was so broken. And somebody called, my daughter called me to say, come on, Fiat Walk. And the intercessors and the minister, minister lets and the intercessors, they prayed me up because the devil reminded me about what happened, how I was beaten up, how my husband was, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. He was attacked and all that we went through. I heard that Pharaoh said, the crow, the crow want to come upon our sacrifice to come devour him. I remember when one Sunday he came home from church, he said, the woman of God, Dr. Rose, prophesy over my life a blessing. And my God, the enemy heard the blessing. And he decided to find some leaf loop work to come in. To, 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 to devour the sacrifice. But this morning, I thank God for the prayer warriors. I thank God for the intercessors. I thank God for those who got my back. I thank God for prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cover her, Lord. Bless her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 God hallelujah. 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 My husband, he attacked him just as God gave him a vision and said, you need to do some addition on the church. And that's what he was doing. He was working on the church because he saw the need for some addition. And my God, the enemy decided to lock him down. But even when he was... He, when he, he was uh, with three bags hanging off his body, nine bullets on to his body. He said, I'm going to finish the job that God gave me to do. I am going to do it. And he could not wait to go back and finish the job that God had, you know, wanted him to do. No soldier There's fights the name by of Jesus. Himself. Hallelujah. No soldier fights by himself. There is always an army. So the church is our army, our family. We don't have to fight our battles alone. We need someone to tell us at times that there is somebody greater than our problems. We need to know who we are and whose we are in Christ. When we invite God to step in our situation, we can expect to see him show up. God acts in response to our prayer. God provided David with the perfect GPS, God's perfect system. He sent someone to lead David right to the enemy's camp. This Egyptian young man was thrown away. I left behind because he was sick and of no use to his master. When they throw him away, they didn't know that they had just signed their death certificates. The ways of God Thank are you. strange, but Thank they you. are sure. And what he purposes, he accomplishes. God used what the enemy said was of no good anymore to let his servant recover all that was taken from him. God's ways are not only higher than our ways, but they are better than our ways. The big struggle we have is whether or not we will embrace God's way. There is a blessing and a hope that comes from embracing God's ways. Like David, the world we live in is still being invaded by the Amalekite spirit. The enemy attacked the minds of our young people, leading them to mayhem, death, destruction, depression, suicide, murders, and you name it. Our families are under attack. Our health is under attack. Our marriage is under attack. Our schools are under attack. 
Our colleges are under attack. Our homes are under attack. Our churches are under attack. Our workplaces are under attack. And the list goes on. God's people have been beaten up and we are battered by the enemy. Sometimes some pain in some parts of our body, you wonder where it is from. Sometimes you go to the doctor, they can't tell you, they can't help you because the enemy want to shut us down. He want to lock up our prayers. But we say the blood of Jesus is against him this morning. We decree and declare all of our bodies. Blood of that Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God, preacher. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Use what the enemy beaten up and butchered for the glory of God. Paul and Silas used their voices. They prayed and sang praises unto God, even though they were wounded and battered and their feet were in stuff, they still had their praises. So when the woman of God show up in your mind and send up the praises, we need to send the praises up. We need to send the enemy Lord, that we are alive. Because when we want our yes, motives, God, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me know that you still have a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Brother Job said in chapter 13, verse 5, No, he slay me, yet will I trust him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. In chapter 19, 25, 26, he said, For I know, Jesus, even though Jesus, I'm going through, Jesus, even though I'm going through, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that our Redeemer lives. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Tell somebody that I'm going through. I'm going through. I'm having my health issue. The devil thinks he has got me. But I know who sits high. I know who looks low. I know who is in charge of my body. And I'm surrendering it to him this morning. One writer said that the enemy of our soul is violent. He wants to destroy the God in us. So diplomacy doesn't work in this warfare. There is not supposed to be any ceasefire, but continuous fire. There are no peace talks when it comes to the enemy. We have to attack the enemy's camp and destroy it. And rescue all that Satan has stolen from us. Pursue the enemy for your husband. Pursue the enemy for your wife. Pursue the enemy for your children. Pursue the enemy for your grandchildren. Pursue for your uncle. Pursue for your auntie. Pursue for your cousin. Pursue for your neighbors. Pursue for your father. Pursue for your mother. Go after the enemy until you recover it all. Jesus. (laughs) We cannot submit to the enemy. He's under our feet. David was invaded by the enemies, but God, God, he's mine. The enemy wants to mess up our minds. Lord Jesus, I have to say, God, God, my mind. God, the, mind of your, the minds of your people. He didn't allow him to fall into depression because that's where the enemy wants us to be depressed. So we don't see, we don't remember to pray to God. All we're looking at is our problem. David went through a lot. Today, he used his experience to bless us with 73 beautiful psalms, some for every situation that might confront us, some for when we are going through the ups and the downs of our life. A knockout isn't a knock, a knockout, a knockdown isn't a knockout unless you give in and give up. There is a comeback after your setback. William Cooper, 
whose mind the enemy invaded wrote some of the most beautiful hymns that we enjoyed singing hymns that are a blessing to our souls he wrote 68 of them and as i told you one of them is there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from emmanuel's vein and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty state in fact god turned his mess into a message and it's death into a testimony saints the enemy might have thrown you some blows and punches use those hands to praise him use those mouth to give him worship you give him the highest praise use those feet to run up and down skip to the lord use that body that he has inflicted with pain the body that he abused with drugs and drinking the body that he abused with smoking use the body to give him glory tell the enemy i am running for my life i changed my address i have a new boss who is jesus christ saints may god help us to use our midnight situations what the enemy has beaten up and battered to be a blessing to others paul and silas praise god in a bad situation and those around them notice and listen to them <laughs> the praises not only help them but all other prisoners our praise in time of trouble is genuine as the choir sang my worship my worship my worship is for real god works the midnight sheep great things happen during paul and silas's midnight midnight symbolizing a dark hopeless situation god turned it around for them the prison was shaken to its foundation all the doors immediately flew open and the chains of the end of every prisoner fell off through the intercession of paul and silas god provided freedom for every prisoner the songwriter says never give up on god he won't give up on you today there are so many that the enemy has beaten up bound up chained up in prison of hopelessness and fear depression god is calling for some paul and some silences who can intercede for the spirit man needs some shaking the spirit man needs to be loose from the prison of depression loose from suicidal thought loose from the thoughts of mass murder loose from the spirit of bitterness and hatred loose from drugs and drinking and all the things that are destroying the body loose from from the grave clothes that bound up us and bound them up one writer said prayer and worship are powerful tools and when we are going through hopeless situation and it invites god into your situation so when the impossible happen they know who to praise i want to leave you with this song you made a way lord jesus since god i remember those days when not even a kitchen we could not afford i remember those days you know in jamaica when the rain fall the wood wet up the ground wet up and we couldn't even afford a kitchen i remember those days when we were going through lord jesus when we were going through i heard pastor nicola johnson said what some of us come out of one room we were all bundled up in a one room and some people never see you that time somebody said to me one day where were you when life was eating me but now that i'm eating life you see me you only see this, this the glory but you don't know my story you don't know how many nights i had to be on my knees when you were fast asleep in your bed i remember my husband used to say me said to me what time did you come to bed because i would be on my knees bawling to God to turn things around to change the situation I said God I was born in it raising it but I'm not still I need to get out of here I need some change I need a turning around and as soon as God turned around the situation the enemy want to attack us the enemy want to take us
us out. Somebody said the enemy want to eat your food, but I said the blood of Jesus. Come on, now. Come on Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Come and I declare the over myself, my family, and over faith war that we shall not die. We shall not die. Live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. I heard somebody said you made a way when our backs were against the wall. Hallelujah. Somebody said it's not one prayer me pray. I pray in the morning. I pray in the midday. I pray in the evening. There were some times you go and fasting and you were talking to God to turn the situation around. And when God show up, you want to come take our lives. Lord Jesus, you don't want our children to prosper. The enemy attacking our children. Lord God, our good children, you say Send them to school and when you realize some enemy want to drag them down the broad road of destruction some enemy want to drag them in a some gangs lord god we have to be covering our children because the devourer is out here but we say not my daughter not my son not my grandchildren not my husband Speak over your marriage, speak over your family, speak over your children, speak, 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 open your mouth, let the enemy know that you are alive. Because when he hears this song, he have been back up, he has been drunk, he When our books were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And we are standing here only because you made a way. You, God, made a way. God bless you, everyone. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a word Hallelujah. this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Mighty Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah, Saints of God, just open your mic and give God glory for this word. Hallelujah, this Jesus, Hallelujah. Word. Glory Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Jesus. a word that come at a time like this uh, to pierce bone and marrow this morning i don't know about anyone this morning but i felt something deep inside when the woman of god was bringing forth the word uh, this word oh god almighty pierce the soul this morning it pierced me this morning i'm here to tell someone this morning lean upon the rock the rock that is jesus uh, because when the enemy comes in like a flood uh, he will lift up a standard uh, because god and her had a relationship uh, so god lift up a standard in the time when she needed him most uh, mighty god of daniel uh, because some of of this the the, the, the out there are saying that you're worshiping god and nothing and if god will god will come true for us to prove to the enemy that he is Till God, God I go come true for us, even when the enemy said, I saw it, I go God turn it around for the good of his people, because it's not easy. But some man not, not live from one shot. Mighty God. Some get one bullet and they don't make it. Come on. Some get one bullet and they don't make it. And the man live. Live through nine. Come on, it has to be God. It had to be Almighty God. Jesus. Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Miracles happen every day to those who believe. Purpose can dead. There was work for him to finish. There is still work for him to do. Purpose can die. It's not what man says. It's what Almighty God says. Mighty God. What an untime word. Jesus. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We hallowed your name. 
you shall pursue like David and you shall recover it all. Everything that the enemy think they have stolen, you shall recover it all. You shall recover it even in tenfold. Mighty God, you are still the true and living God. Mighty God. Show the enemy Daddy, show the enemy, hey God Almighty, that you are living God in their lives. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. She poured out this morning of her father. She poured out her all this morning and it has given you glory. It has given you praise this morning. Oh God, continue to be a lamp unto her feet and a light unto her path. Mighty God of Daniel, broaden her territories in this time and in this season spirit of the living God build a edge around the mighty God just as you, you build a edge around Job spirit of the living God from higher heights mighty God you will take them oh God almighty this is just the beginning Lord God Rababako Shatai Mighty God, mighty God, envelop them, mighty God, in your sweet embrace. Mighty God, the mission was not aborted. They just slow it down. The mission was not aborted. The enemy just slow it down. Mighty God of Daniel, wrap them in the hallowed palm of your hands. Rabako Shatai, mighty God. Mighty God, cover them, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah. I God, I God, I God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty warrior, mighty deliverer, mighty God. Continue to come through for them. Shatai, Makuturobo Shata, Jesus, 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 hide them in the cliffs of the rock, mighty God. Jesus, where the enemy cannot find them. Mighty God. Sister Anaki, could you just pray for the woman of God at this time? Mighty God. And after Sister Anna K, we will have some praise, praise report. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sister Anna K, hallelujah. Are you available to pray for the speaker? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I thank oh, yeah, you. Hallelujah. I glorify oh, yeah, you, God. Yeah. I magnify hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. God, God, oh, glory. Hallelujah. God, I lift you up. God, I exalt you. God, I adore you. Oh, what a mighty God you are. Oh, God, I adore you. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for your mouth peace oh god i thank you oh god particularly oh god that she is alive to tell the story god how she overcome mighty god oh god he said we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony lord i thank you for this woman oh god i thank you for her family oh god almighty i thank you for the great and mighty things that you have done in their lives oh god almighty thank you Oh God, I'm...
her husband. Oh God, thank you for her children. Thank you for her home. Thank you for her ministry. Oh God, Lord, continue to build a fence around this woman. Oh God, continue to reinforce the edge you have around her. Oh God, continue to use her as an oracle. Oh God Almighty, continue to use her as a mouthpiece. Oh God, as she has poured out to us this morning. Oh God, fill her up. Oh God, shaken down, pressed down and running over in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Lord, we pray for a new boldness, oh God. Lord, this woman has so much inside of her, oh God, to give out, oh God Almighty. So Father, we pray for your strength, oh God, that is perfect, oh God Almighty. We pray, oh God, for courage and for boldness, oh God, upon your woman servant in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. Oh, Father, Lord God, we thank you for the anointing upon her life, oh God. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you for the passion, oh God. Lord, I felt this morning, oh God, when she was preaching, oh God, the passion that she has, oh God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, the belief that she have, the trust that she have, the confidence that she have in you, oh God Almighty. Oh, God, we speak increase into her life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Lord God, renew and restore, oh God Almighty, everything concerning this woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Lord, as she spoke, oh God Almighty, about the Amalekites, oh God, we come against, oh God, oh God, any, any descendant of Amalek, oh God Almighty, that wants to linger around, oh God. We know it's the lingering spirit, oh God. Oh God, it doesn't take no for an answer, mighty God. But Lord, we come today, oh God, prepared in the full arm of God, that we're able to stand against the walls of the enemy, oh God, and the plots and the schemes of the evil one, oh God, and we ask you, oh God Almighty Jesus, to protect this woman, oh God Almighty, from every plan of the enemy, every trap, every snare, every setup, every roadblock, oh God Almighty, Lord, she came and she spoke your word undiluted, oh God Almighty, oh God, she came, oh God Almighty, oh God, she didn't just come from some book, oh God, she take it from your word that cannot return unto your void, oh God. Lord, she didn't just come and repeat to us what she heard someone else is saying, oh God, but she have lived it, oh God Almighty, she has experienced it, oh God Almighty, and she come, oh God, to tell us, oh God, that you're still in the healing business, oh God, you're still in the restoration business, oh God, that you're still a spirit, God, and that we should worship you in spirit and in truth. So Lord God, this morning, do for your woman servant what no other powers can do oh god lord god we decree and declare even into this atmosphere and this platform oh god that this is just the beginning oh god of the great and mighty things that you have in store for this woman oh god almighty help her oh god to reach nations, oh God. Help her mighty God to reach people, oh God. Lord, help her to reach out, oh God Almighty, to the hopeless, oh God Almighty, to the broken, oh God Almighty, Father God. Continue to strengthen her in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Oh God, provide for her, oh God Almighty. Oh God, we pray for an overflow, oh God Almighty. Oh God, like with the fishes and the bread, oh God. Oh God, let she have, oh God Almighty, all that she need, oh God, and have left over in the name of Jesus, oh God. Continue to work upon her husband. Continue to work in her home. Continue to work in her finances, oh God Almighty. Continue to work on her health. Continue to work on her mind, oh God. The mind of Christ in her, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Oh God Almighty, we thank you for the woman servant this morning, God. Out of her steps, my God, Lord, wherever her feet tread, oh God, let there be Holy Ghost curfew, let there be angels going before her, oh God, wherever she go, Lord, she make mention, oh God Almighty, that Lord God, it's the Spirit of God, oh God Almighty, I pray that the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, oh God, will lead this woman into all truth, oh God Almighty, Lord, you come against every hindrance, oh God, every setback, oh God Almighty, Lord God, as you said in your, in your word, oh God, in the book of Genesis, is, oh God, that what the enemy meant for evil, God Almighty, you will turn it around for our 
good. So, Father, Lord God, what the enemy meant for evil in your daughter's life, God, turn it around. You have already turned it around for her good, oh God. But, Lord, may your good and perfect things, oh God, continue to manifest in the life of the woman of God. Oh, God Almighty, I pray, oh God Almighty, as eyes have not seen, oh God, and ears have not heard what you have in store for this woman, for her family, for her ministry, oh God Almighty. I pray that you will continue to protect her, oh God. Continue to guard her, oh God Almighty. I'll continue to use her, oh God. Continue to strengthen her, oh God. I just speak strength, oh God. I just speak strength in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Kasataya. Oh God, I just come against, oh God, every backlash, oh God. I just come against, oh God Almighty, everything that the, the enemy will want to go back, oh God, to the drawing board to come back for your woman servant, oh God. I just come against it with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. I just come against every counsel of Aitafel, oh God. Just turn it into foolishness, oh God. Lord God, I just come against any altar that wants to erect against this woman, oh God. Oh God, we just smash it to pieces now and just grind it to powder now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. We glorify you for the life of your woman servant, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for faith walk, oh God Almighty. Thank you, oh God, for what you have already done for all of us, God. For what you're doing, my Lord, and for what you're about to do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Anaki. Rabaku Shatai. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah, it's time for the praise report. It's time to give God glory. Even if you didn't have anything to say before this message, I know that this message must hit home. Rabao Shatai with somebody on this platform this morning. So if it is only that you can open the mic and give God praise for, because you are at the right place at the right time this morning to hear such a word. I don't know about anybody, but I know I got something out of it because I, I am not going to have any peace treaty with no enemy. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to mash up. You have peace treaty with the enemy. The enemy will forever be the enemy. We can't sometimes we as Christians sit down and want peace more than how we want to kill the enemy and we don't realize that the enemy don't want any peace with us the enemy just want to destroy us so we have to counteract and tear down and kick down and root up the plans of the old adversary because that is the reason that the adversary is here they want to take us out every minute every second every hour they don't rest that is their job that is what they were created to do and we are here sometimes sitting on our hands trying to make peace with who don't want to make peace with us i'm here to tell somebody this morning if I even if you hear the word this morning, that is a praise report in itself. Anyone has a praise report this morning? My Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I'm alive today. I'm so glad that the, the breath of God is still in my nostril. I'm so glad this morning. I'm so thankful to God that his blood runs through my vein this morning. Because if he had left me over to the enemy, I couldn't be here this morning to give him thanks. Because he said in his word, can we praise him when we are down in the grave? So this morning, I thank God that I have a voice can say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, for your mercies and your grace towards me. In Jesus' name, amen.
Um, thank you, and thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me, covering my family. I thank you, Lord. I thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this morning. That wake up me so early this morning. I'm really extremely blessed this morning. I thank God for this word. This word is meant for me this morning. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. A house of power this morning has spoken to us, lifting my faith that not to give up when the enemy comes around. You know, she uh, she preached and she said, Sister Let's, uh, Minister Let's said, open your mic and praise the Lord. Monday, Minister Let's said, open your mic and praise the Lord when the woman preaches the word. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. And I remember I was in here and my mic was closed, but my son had to go to work and he was looking for a piece of paper that he had something written down hand and he must clarify a mistake. And he was looking all over everywhere. It happened that he had the papers on the bed, but I didn't see it. I take up what the other papers and I was there. And meanwhile, the um, bird going on this, Fire, in, fire is on this um, program. And I said, I want to open my mic, but because of his speaking and looking and so it was I can't open my mic. And then I get a chance. And I said, this paper, I didn't take it up. And he had to go with this paper. And I was saying, God, if it's even into my jaw, into my part of the jaw, let me find it. I will take the blame, although I didn't put it there. And I opened my mic and I begin to praise God. And I praise God. Meanwhile, he's here. I just praise God and I praise him. I praise him. I praise him. And I shout hallelujah and I praise God. Afterward, I seen get ready and start to talk to me. So I said, find the paper. He said, he find it in my jaw and he don't know if he's, he put it there. Who could it be but God, the enemy was trying to disturb the peace and i was saying god we have such a good peace and the enemy was just trying but he lose again so you know sometimes when they said when the when person said open your mic and give god the praise and you can't do it do it because you don't know what is shifting what is shifting at that time and i was so glad i praise god i was so glad i praise him and i remember i had a prayer praying about his permit this is the said permit i'm praying about and he said when um when he went to immigration they said they see departure at his name departure right beside his his name and when the lady was saying you have to go home and then he present a paper to her and she said all right i'm giving you such, such a day who continue to pray because i always pray like that, I send a prayer up to immigration. I prayed and I prayed, I prayed like that. God is so good. Even when they said, need to take the vaccine, I didn't take it. I have to go home. They said to go home until they call me. When they call me, I tell my boss, I'm not going to take it. I just made up my mind to continue doing my farming or something like that. And I said, she called me and said, go to the doctor and tell the doctor, say, you want a, um, a letter. I said, I'm not going anywhere. Let God have his own way. And to, be, to God be the glory, I was called back to Cayman without a vaccine, without taking the vaccine. She said, the lady said to me, my parent told her, I said, praise the Lord. See, do you remember what you said? Sing praises, sing a song for me. And I was there singing for her. Who could it be but God? Just trust God and he will move mountain. And I'm trusting him still for things. And I know it will come true. God bless you today. Any more prayers report this morning? Good morning. Um, I just want to say, you know, um, I just want to thank God I'm alive and well this morning. Last night, I, um, as a matter of fact, a day before I was doing some washing and um, I was lifting some buckets with water and stuff like that. So I did a fast yesterday 
and um, came up the fast. Then about after nine, after 10, we're about to start feeling some chest pain and it was real excruciating. So I typed in the chat for prayer, but however, Apostle Thomas, I think he is, um, you know, he taught me through it and everything and was talking about the fasting and how you end your fast and stuff like that. But honestly, you said I was really hungry and I ate some dumpling and chicken. However, in the night, um, I realized that I was having some pain, but the pain that I'm having is that is not that um, short of breath or anything to say it's an heart attack. So I realized that it's either the gastrointestinal pain or a, a pull of muscle. However, I did some research on it and um, I realized that it seemed as though I pull a muscle by carrying the water. So, you know, I really thank God because, and I said, the pain that I was feeling yesterday, I didn't know that I could even live to see this morning. So, you know, I just want to say hallelujah to God. And I just want to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And, you know, to God be the glory, you know, and I just give him thanks this morning that I'm alive and well, and his spirit lives within me. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Oh, I... Just want to say thank God for life, for his grace and his mercies. And um, I just asked the minister let's for this um, recording, if she have it, because it's three time gunman came at my house and he came after my son. And we are still alive, we never get shot. He got hit and, you know, he lost some of his tooth, but thank God. But anyway, the enemy is still fighting. And so I'd really love this recording to send to him that he understand that God see and know everything that he is going through. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the woman of God who come out this morning. God bless the woman of God. Any more praise report? You can start writing your, your, your requests in the chat if we don't have any more praise report this morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Any more praise report? Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am so glad that we can come on this line and, and pray together. God has been so good. I'm so thankful for this word this morning. We have been getting it from the other day, you know, but we have to surrender ourselves and give God the glory. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Great morning, everyone. I was glad when they said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. I am happy to be a part of the family of God this morning, and I'm grateful for the message that has come, that has came across to us this morning. God bless you, woman of God, and continue to sit at God's feet because your reward is at his feet. Marco Shandai, your reward is at his feet, woman of God. Just sit at his feet, and I'm happy to be here this morning. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. We, we, we are happy to be in God's presence this morning, and I am just here worshiping with you, ladies, each and every morning. At times, I want to open the mic to give a testimony, but you know that the, I just allow the Holy Spirit to flow, yes. I just allow the Holy Spirit to flow. So just continue to pray for each other and give God all the honor, all the praise. God bless you. Good morning, Saint Walk. Good morning one more time. I am so blessed this morning. Songwriter say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, and I lay my head to rest. I am blessed. I am so blessed this morning. That word, it digests. I am so glad for faith walk because you know that we are not in church. We are not physically in church, but we can come up in the morning and we can listen and believe your bridge in my soul have been so blessed. You know, I thank God because, you know, sometimes I woke up late. But I say, you know what, I'm going to try and wake up and I'm going to listen 
oh God, to the people of God. I'm going to listen to the word and I want it to apply into my life. You know, I am so glad. I'm feeling so blessed. And so this morning, I just want to give God the honor, the glory and the praise. He woke me up this morning in my right mind to see this another day and to listen to his word. His word are a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And I just want to give God glory. I just want to give him thanks continually. Almighty God for faith walk and all the bridging because Lord, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. You know, sometimes you feel cast down and you feel weary in yourself. But when you listen to the word and to the prayer and the testimony, you know, we live by other people's testimony because, you know, I have lived, I have lived through people testimony you know sometimes when you are going through some situation and you realize that other people are going through it and god have taken them through and you say yes lord yes you realize that god can take you through so i just want to give god thanks i just want to ask god to bless that woman of god because that word, Almighty God, I, I just try to digest every word this morning, and I am feeling so blessed. So I just want to give God thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and um, for my prayer request this morning, I'm asking for prayer for my daughter. She's trying to get her PR and she's not getting it. She's in Canada. So I'm asking you for prayer for her this morning. Let God just open a way so that she can get her PR. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Again. Um, I'm just asking for prayer for my daughter, Ashley Cochrane. She's supposed to be going to college but we have to come up with like six thousand dollars by august so we're asking for some miracle here miracle prior i hope I'm, I'm just trusting god trusting god that's my prayer request good morning i'm asking for Sherry. Sister Anne Marie, just go out and come back in and see and let us see if we could hear you at that time. Any more? Good morning. Please? Good morning. I'm asking for prayer for Tina, Prince again in New York, and stepmother and, and stepmother, mother is giving her hell over there. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just asking for um a prayer for my son. He he used to be in the JCF and he has um, resigned since um, 2015. However, there's a case where a police woman was shot and killed in the two miles area. He was he used to work at Hunts Bay and um, he was subpoenaed a um, couple of days ago from in the come to come to court and stuff like that. However, um, he said he was there, but he doesn't know what took place. So the, the, the prisoner died because they found the guy who had killed the police lady. So apparently they had beaten him and stuff like that. Said so they had subpoena everybody who was on duty that night to the court. So I'm just asking for prayer for him. God bless you. Um, Sister Haley, um, will you be able to take the request for us this morning? Sister I'm Haley? asking prayer for, yeah, Carrie and Morris. I was saying Carrie and Morris. She need um our, our focus. She need to set her mind. She's not focusing. So she need prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Continue with the prayer request. Sister Haley will pray. My prayer request is that my the paperwork, my paperwork, um, that it sent in, but it returned because it was the wrong form, outdated form. But it was a family member who do it, and my son was so angry when it come back it he was so angry then if they fit they send it back again and let her tell you something right because of the anger it don't reach where it figure yet so i'm just asking for prayer because sometimes disobedient and anger make things delay so i'm asking you please to for prayer for that
Any more requests this morning? Any more requests? If there's no more prayer requests, then Sister Haley, could you just take take on the prayer request this for us this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know. One thing I found. God will work it out. God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found. Oh, oh God will work it out. Somebody help me to say God. We'll work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found. Oh, God will work it out. Oh, God will work it out. I know God will work it out. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise the name of Jehovah Shama. Praise the name of Jehovah Nisi. Praise the name of Jehovah Sikidu. We honor you, great Father. Oh, wash me now. Without within and purge with fire. If that must be, burn out in me, God. Burn out in me. Burn out in me. Oh, wash me now. Without within. And purge with fire, if that must be. Oh, burn out in me, burn out in me, burn out in me, burn out in me. Father, I honor you this morning. I pray this morning, oh God, that you will use me according to all that you have to say unto your people this morning. Mighty God, I adore you. I bow before you. I am nothing but dust before you, God. I give myself away to you today. As I, oh God, as I approach your throne today, I ask that the angels will take my prayer on your wings and take it to your son, Jesus Christ. And your son, Jesus Christ, will take it to you, oh God. Father, I want to... Ah, God, I thank you today. Thank you, God. Thank you for the unspoken requests. Hallelujah. Thank you for the unspoken requests this morning. Yes, God, those that are in the minds of your people, those, God, that, oh, the people are saying, I don't want to speak my business. Mighty God, upon this prayer line this morning. Father, I speak to the unspoken request this morning. I bring them up to you. Ah, some persons on this line as the matters that are pressing them down. Mighty God. And as the woman of God preached this morning, she says, we should call for the mothers, call for the prior warriors, call for the elders, call for somebody to help us pray through. And mighty God, we, we, we need to know upon this platform that the things that are pressing us down, the enemy knows about it. So if the enemy knows about it this morning, 
There's no problem if the church know about it because all the church can do this morning is to pray one for another, to lift up somebody in prayer, to storm the gates of hell. So this morning, God, I pray for the silent ones, the ones that who could have put their request, but they were afraid to put it, God. So, Father God, I ask that you will minister to them this morning morning god i pray god that you will touch them this morning i pray god that you will look at their prayer this morning i pray god that you will answer them this morning the unspoken ones the ones that were afraid to put it on the altar god i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that you will do a thing in their lives father we lift up mighty god we are looking for prayer for the sister who said that the documents have gone in but the papers mighty god were outdated the form were outdated and there is also anger father we call for for peace to be still oh god we call for god that you will gently step down and flip the script in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth according to your will. Father, we ask, oh God, that tempers, oh God, will be calm and you, oh God, will have your way. I pray, God, for the person's sake who, have, who know that they can bring their requests to make it be known unto you, oh God. I pray, God, that you will breathe upon this situation. I pray, God, that you will send the right form. I pray, God, that you will send that document into the right space. I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will do what you have to do. And God, whatever you do, God, it must please you because this has to be done according to your glory. And we as believers know, God, that it has to be according to your glory. So God, we ask, so oh God, that you will work upon this document according to the way how you see it fit and you will be glorified. May somebody in this family who does not know God, God, know that there is a God and is in charge of everything that concerns us, oh Father God. Have your way, Father God. Father God, we are looking into Canada. Mighty God, that's why you are Jehovah Shammah. There is no distance. There is no distance in what you do. Time and space has nothing to do with you. God, you can work in Egypt. You can also work in Canada. You can work in Jamaica all at the same time. And so, Father God, there are many young people who come from a Christian back back home they come from a christian family and god they are in canada and so god we speak right now for a comprehensive moving over the documents in canada we call for for this pr will line up we call for that it will be granted it will be cleared in the name of jesus christ we call for for everyone upon this platform who is dealing with some immigration matters. God, we are declaring that the doors will be open. We are declaring and we are saying that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and your people must inhabit this land. Your people must be preferred in this land. Your people must be favored. And so God, we ask that you open the doors, PR, whatever it is, document, whatever it is, any paper, God, that has been stopped, that has been holed up, we call for, for a release according to your will and according to your way, oh God. Father, we want to remember Tina this morning in, in America, mighty God, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the, 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 the requests say that the, the stepmother is raking havoc in her life. But God, is there anything too hard for you? God, even when the disciples were on the boat and they thought that they were going down, they said, Master, 
the tempest is raging, the pillars are tossed in high, and you wake up, you got up, oh God, you slept through the storm, and you got up, God, and you calmed the storm, and so, Father God, we come upon this line this morning, and we are stretching a hand into that household, we are stretching a hand over those gates, we are stretching a hand over the atmosphere, we are stretching a hand in the territory, we are stretching a hand around the dinner table, we are stretching our hands as a point of contact of for your hands, God, that there will be a cease, there will be peace, there will be contentment. Father God, I pray, oh God, that whatever is the trouble, whatever is the problem, you will step in just as oh you walk on the water. God, you will walk into that family right now and you will let peace mighty god let peace abide oh god let peace reign in the name of jesus christ and the family must the family must live as one god i honor you god i put a praise upon this family somebody help me to put a praise in that household let praises rise in that household let god arise in that household in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father mighty god Mighty God, God, we work it out, God, we work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found, God, we'll work it out. Father, six thousand US dollar, I assume, because if this was six thousand Jamaican dollar, it wouldn't even be a prayer request. Because every one of us here could give one one thousand dollar, we have one thousand six thousand US or Jamaican dollars. But God, we know it has to be US or pound, mighty God. But God, but God, but God, a thousand cattle upon the hill belong to you. God, we are not baffled. We are not nice. frightened because our daddy, Jesus. our daddy, our Yahweh, our Yahweh owns all of this. And God, you will work it out. August, I have nothing to do with you, God. That's why we honor you today. Time has nothing to do with you. $6,000 is nothing to you, God. But God, that's why we come to you and we say, Abba, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, this six sister needs $6,000 or more. Double, 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 triple. Because God is not just the school fees. He's talking about traveling expenses. Mighty God, it is also talking about lodging it's all talking about money in the pocket so god mighty yahweh we call upon you today visit the sister visit our god thank you for the deposit can we know you're going to do it our faith stands before you today god and we know you're going to do it we know you're going to do it god we know you're going to do it there is nothing that you cannot do there is no mountain that you cannot move there is nothing that your children want that you're gonna withhold from them you withhold nothing good from your children because we have faith in you. If we never have faith in you, all of us upon this platform will not be saying amen. We will not be saying amen. But God, we know you can do it. So we ask of you today, God. Father, we continue to worship and give you thanks. We continue to honor you. We continue to praise you. We continue to lift you up. We continue to glorify you. There is nothing that you cannot do. There is no mountain that you cannot move, no river that you cannot cross. God, I worship you this morning. Mighty God, Sister Salman, oh God, God, God will work it out for you this morning. One thing I am sure one thing i found that he always make a way it might not be what we want but his ways has to be for his glory father we thank you my god mighty god forever bless lord jesus i thank you 
that you control our bodies, our mind, our spirit. Oh God, I pray God that whatever is happening abnormal with this blood pressure, God, mighty God, this depression, mighty God, this housing, oh problem, God, you will work it out. I place it in your hand, bombing Gideon, the deliverer, our source, our strength. God will never, never, never sleep. God will never slumber. God who is the giver of good gifts. Today we pray for a release. We pray for coverage. We pray, God, that health will be restored. Father, we speak to the brain. We speak to the blood. We speak to the bones. We speak, oh God, to the flesh. We command that the flesh line up, that the blood line up. Mighty God of, of Nazareth, we call, oh God, that blood pressure will go where it's supposed to go. Stay where it's supposed to go. That this body will line up just like the way, oh God, or oh, you create Adam and Eve. They had no sickness. They had no depression. They had no pressure. They had no problem. They didn't even have house problem. But God, I thank you that the earth is the Lord. And even though your children might find themselves having house problem, God, you, we are looking for a release for the paperwork, for the house, for her daughter to dear God, that there be a release. Somebody say, release, release. There's a lot, a lot of releasing. The devil, mighty God, has a lot of things bind up for the children of God. He wants us to believe, mighty God, that God is not working out for us. But we send forth a release today. We burst up some strings. We burst up some lock in the name of Jesus Christ. We release some papers. Lord, we open up some file cabinet with the Holy Ghost, and we release some papers to take some documents that are held up for the people of God. We send the Holy Ghost to burn those locks and bring them up to top. Mighty God of Daniel, we remove some people from the spots that they are sitting in. They are agents of the enemy. We burn them out of those seats. And we put godly people to preside over our documents for some release in the name of Jesus. Release in Jamaica. Release in Canada. Release in the UK. Release in the Cayman Islands. Release, release, release. release in the name release, of Jesus release, Christ, Christ of Nazareth. We are not playing. Somebody worship God. We are not playing. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah, Too hallelujah, long. The enemy feels as if he can sit on us. Release. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some people keep going in and coming out. Going in. Yes, Decline. Going coming out. Feel. Feel. Somebody for feeling. No more. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. We stand yes, on the authority of God. We stand on the word Jesus. of God. We take the seal from God. We reject the seal of the enemy. Release in the name of Jesus in Christ, Christ of, Nazareth. of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Father, mighty daddy. Mm -mm. Mighty God. Anthony Summer is here waiting yes, for that God. job. Hey, God. Oh, God will work it out. God will work it out. One thing I know. One thing I found. Oh, God will work it out. Hallelujah. Anthony Summers, tie up what you're tying up. Fix up what you're fixing up. Because when the release, when God released that job to you, you're going to be busy. Fix up what you're fixing up. If you need to cut the yard, yeah. cut the yard. Yeah. If you need to, to make one fall pen on a back, make the fall pen. Yeah. Because when God releases you, release this job, we are talking about release today. When God releases that job to you, Anthony Summers. You're going to be very busy. Mighty God. Somebody thank God for the release of Anthony's job. Mighty God. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you for the release. Thank you. We thank you for the release, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, my God. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Remember, Kerry, this morning, Father God, you know everything. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide us until the days. There is not a friend 
like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No friend. No friend, no friend, no friend. Mighty God. Jesus is with you. Mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, Lobo Sakura Bosai. Shake him at Mighty God. To the, uh, the police son. Mighty God. Mighty God. The police son. Mighty God. The son who is a police. Mighty God. The son who is a police. God, we see you see your son. Father, you see your child. You see your son. You see, you see this mother. For mighty God, I remember in the in the in Genesis when Abraham was going to, and when his son Isaac was digging the well, Manasato. Everybody come and say, "Am I well? Am I well? Am I well?" And he keep digging, and he keep digging. But God blessed him because of his father. So, Father God, because of the mother of this child, because of somebody as a contact, somebody for this son, this police officer, has a straight contact to the throne of God. God is going to come true today. Marco Robosai. God is going to come true. Father, we bring him before you today because we know that you are the greatest judge. God, we know that in the come can't even judge like you. The head of the federation can't judge like you. The head of the security family can't judge like you. They are unjust judge. But God, you are the true judge. You are the true judge. And God, in the come can call until they can call no more. God, we are putting it in your hand. We are putting it in your hand. We are putting it in your hand, God. You see his heart. You know his truth. You know what he sees. You know, God, and Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give this case personally to you. God, God, I ask, oh God, that you will come true. You will be his lawyer. You will be his judge. You will be his juror. God, I pray, God, that your will be done. I pray, God, that you will work it out. We are asking God, whatever pleases you, God. Father God, there is nothing bad about what you can do. We may struggle for a little while, God, but we know that you are a good, good father. We know, Father God, I pray that the truth will come out. I pray, God, that he will get the victory. I pray, God, that he will be, you will be on his side. You will watch. You will vindicate. You will carry. You will comfort. Because in this time, God, this is a distressful moment. Because we don't know what sinful man, oh God, what their verdict will be. And so, Father God, as he has taken that job to serve and protect, God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you, oh God, will see him through. I pray for the family, God, that you will keep them strong. I pray for the family, God, that you will sustain them. I pray for the family, God, that you will carry them. I pray for the family, God, that you will keep them together, standing firm with him, standing with him, praying yes. with him, worshiping yes. with him. Tell him, God, that you tell him, remind him that you are in the midst. I pray, God, that there will be a battle axe in this family who will continue to storm the gate and continue to worship you as you come to, to worship you as you carry him, to worship you as you defend him, oh God. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning for Camille. She's waiting for a release for her job. Oh God, we bless your name this morning. We bless your name this morning. God, we, your people believe in you, God. Your people believe in you, God. Your people believe that you're about to do a release. And so, Father God, I thank you this morning. I thank you for your coverage. I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for your love. I thank you for those that you, oh God, will release those 
jobs too. I thank you for the papers that you have released. I thank you for the marriages that you have replenished. I thank you for the children that you are healed. I thank you for the children that you are bringing back home. I thank you for the husbands that you are you're about to save. I thank you for the children that you're about to save. I thank you, God, for the woman and the man that you're going to take up to another level in you. I thank you, God, for those that you have given the appetite of praying. I thank you, God, for those that you have given the appetite of reading your word. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for this platform, mighty Jesus, Yahweh. Halloween. I thank you for this platform. I thank you for Minister Lex and everyone else who come together with this platform. I thank you for those, God, who have come out every morning to listen, to, to pray, to sing, to share. Lord, I thank you for your people. I thank you for the prayer warriors. I pray for more strength. I thank you for the churches. I thank you for the pastors. I thank you for the deacons and the missionaries and the evangelists. I thank you for the altar workers. I thank you for the ushers. I thank you for the cleaners. I thank you for the congregation. I thank you, God, for the children. I thank you for the neighborhood. I thank you for those who are about to give their life to Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, for those who are backslidden and are coming back. Father God, I thank you. I worship you for our food. I worship you for our water. I worship you for our house. I worship you for our cars. I worship you for the protection when we go out. I worship you for the right taxi driver. I worship you for the right bus driver. I worship you for the right school teacher. I worship you for the right boss. I worship you, God. Thank you for covering me and my family, God. Thank you for covering my son. Oh, in Jamaica, Marco Rabose, Malabaseko. I send the coverage of God over him right now, over my mother, over my sisters, over my nieces and my nephews. I thank you that you have saved my sister from a bad accident yesterday in the United States. I thank you for my daughter. I thank you for my husband. I thank you, God, that you have spared him all his life from incidents and accidents. I thank you that you have covered him on his job even now my daughter wherever she is even now god i thank you father god i thank you that you have put a shield around your daughter i thank you god that you have covered me under your blood i thank you for carrying me i thank you for protecting me i thank you for providing for me i thank you for the spirit i thank you for the anointing i thank you for everyone upon this platform i dispatch the spirit of god over your people right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i give you praise i give you glory i give you honor i worship you god thank you for hearing us this morning god thank you for your coverage over us this morning god thank you for your keeping care and your protection over us this morning god as we look to you and we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor that is due unto your name, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, remember Lord, Donovan and Kimon and Nicole and Dre, Dirake. Hallelujah. The, the sister Elena's family. Mighty Jesus. God, we pray for divine coverage. Oh God, we pray for divine coverage over this family. We pray for divine coverage over this family. We seal up this family under the efficacious blood of Jesus Christ. We speak to their surrounding God. We pray that the Elena Brown family will be lifted up. Oh God, and be covered and be carried and be sanctified and be purified by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare over their atmosphere that they are blessed in their going out and in their coming in. I pray that the angels of God will stand up with flaming swords around them. We come against the plans of the enemy over Sister Elena's brown family and we decree and we declare that God is in the midst of them. That God is their shield and their shelter. That God is their battle axe. Mighty God, we thank you God. 
We thank you, Father God. We cover the children. We cover the children this morning. <clears throat> Mighty God, as they are re getting ready to be in the summer camp, mighty God, some of them are changing schools. Some of them are going into big school where big lives happen, where big things happen. Oh God, I pray God that you will hide the children under your covenant from the plans of the enemy. Father God, some of them are going to different countries for this summer holiday. Mighty God, I pray that you will be with them. Mighty God, some of them are flying by themselves. I come against the plans of the enemy. I come against the predators, oh God. I come against the, the wolves that hide in sheep clothing, God. I come against the eaters of flesh, mighty God. Those that are looking for body parts from our young children. Those that are seeking blood from our young children, God, we come against them, God. We bind them up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We destroy them now. We burn them now. Father, we are not even sending them back. Because if we send them back, God, they will come, they will recoup and come again. But God, we are burning them on the spot. We burn the eaters of flesh. We burn burn the drinkers of blood we burn the kidnappers we burn the rapists we burn those who look for blood for sacrifice we cover our children we cover our sons and our daughters we come against the adversary who are planning to take our sons to lean them upon the corner in this very summer we come against those who are looking for our daughters to be prostitutes, who are looking for our daughters to be drug carriers, who are looking for our daughter's body to sacrifice. We bind them up in the name of Jesus Christ. We burn them right now with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we cover our children. Some of us are leaving our children at home because, God, they are of age, and we cannot take them to our workplace, and we can't even... Be have somebody to watch over them but god we set a watch over our children at home we set a watch over who calls them we set a watch over their devices we set a watch over the web we set a watch over yes, the TikTok. Yes, God. we set a watch over the facebook we set a watch oh god over the doors and the windows we seal them up from the eyes of the enemy we blind the enemy as our children stay home we blind the eyes of our neighbors oh god the bad ones as our children stay home may they not be seen by our children oh god we blind the enemy and let our children pass let our daughters live let our daughters rise to be women of of integrity oh god we come against the plans of the enemy oh god we come against the river that is looking for bodies this summer we come against the roads mighty god who is looking for blood in the road lord jesus we come against the sea who is looking for bodies we seal up our children this summer god they shall not be taken they shall not be taken god we they shall not be taken we seal them up under the blood and the covenant of jesus christ of Nazareth let God arise let God be praised in your life God we send forth godly appetite we plead godly appetite over our children this summer we cover those who are going to the VBS we pray that the VBS oh God will be overlord we pray that the Christian camps will be overlord that they have to send and ask for extra help from the churches we pray that some of us as believers who are at home during the summer we'll have a little church on our verandas father god everything else is keeping i've heard sister let says yesterday morning that dance keep every night but the church is so silent father god i pray that we will arise we will wake yes, up as Lord. a church we will wake up and keep some Sunday school, even from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on our veranda. We will encourage children to go to camp. Camp is almost free this year. We pray that we will work with the young people, give them something to go to camp, encourage them to go into the presence 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty God, everything the enemy is keeping, turn we up. It's on their phones. It's on their radio. It's out everywhere. But we are silent. Let God arise in our household. Let God arise in our children. May our children have an appetite, God, to read your word. Mighty God, force appetite, God, to read your word, to pray, to know more about you, to sing your song, songs of Zion. May we see, oh God, 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 God. The church, we are so afraid. We are so afraid to even say, say to somebody on the road, God bless you. We are so afraid. God, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of sown mind, God. And let the church arise, God. Let the wailing women arise and let us wail for our children because the enemy is not playing. The enemy has dropped the number. He has dropped the age group. The enemy has dropped the age group. Believers, the enemy has dropped the age group. Normally it was 20 and up. Now it's 20 down. He's not leaving anything to chance. Seven year old, five year old, they all know to swear. They all know to DJ. They all know to sing the songs of the enemy. They know every song. They know to tweet, to turk, to squirt. Whatever they do, they know how to do it for the enemy. Can we stand up and teach our children from an early age that God is right. God is alive. God is well. He's the keeper of our soul. He's the protector of our destiny. That God writes our story. Let us teach our children that it's appointed unto man wants to die. And after death comes the judgment. It's in somebody say you're frightening them. But the enemy is not afraid to grab them and to frighten them. So let us pray to them with the word of God. Let them know that Jesus is love. He loves all of the children of the world, whether yellow, black, or white. Yes, we are precious in his sight, but we have to remind them that God is also a serious judge, that he is a deadly judge, that he can destroy in the twinkling of an eye. Let us tell our children the truth of God. Lord, I thank you for this morning. Marco, son, oh, shame. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing us. I give you praise and I give you glory and I give you honor. I shall back you this morning. I topaz you, God. I lift you up. I glorify you. I bow in your presence. You are high and you are lifted up. You are unpredictable, God. You are undeniable. There is none like you, God. You are the uncreated creator. You are here before time began. And God, we ask you for mercy. We ask that you pity us. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty Redeemer, we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Marco Robos, Yanda Lobos, Tatane Sheto, Mas Yanda Shetena, so Robos. I worship you, Daddy. I worship you, Abba. I worship you, Daddy. I worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We worship your name this morning, mighty God. We hallowed your name, mighty God, and we tell you thanks this morning for your woman servant. Cover her, mighty God, under your blood. Let your will be done in her life, mighty God of Daniel, in and around her surroundings. Mighty God, send your warring angels to fight on her behalf this morning. Give her strength this morning, mighty God. Strength for your daughter, O oh God Almighty, and let your will be done in her life, mighty God. Whatever God Almighty is lacking her life, in this season now, mighty God, we ask of you, God Almighty, to, oh God, provide for your daughter in ways, God Almighty, that she would not, oh God, fathom that you would come through for her, mighty God of Daniel, lift her up, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give her strength, mighty God, strength, oh God Almighty, not just spiritual strength this morning, but 
but physical strength of a father that she may war with the enemy on her your, your children God. behalf mighty God of Daniel she's a warrior for you of a father and we please her oh God almighty into your hands and into your care spirit of the living God almighty God of Daniel we ask of you this morning to tabernacle with your daughter do in her life what only you can do mighty God higher heights and deeper depths in you mighty God and let your will be done in her life mighty God in and around her life mighty God of Daniel allow her to be the beacon that you have called her to be mighty God of Daniel allow her God almighty to step into the purpose that you have called her mighty God in this time and in this season of a father allow her to step into the purpose that you have called her Mighty God of Daniel, be a lamp unto her feet Hallelujah. and a light unto her path. Mighty God of Daniel, continue to be her beacon, continue to be her lighthouse, continue to be her source. Oh God Almighty, continue to be the hill where she looks upon. Mighty God of Daniel, continue to be her rock. When she has no one else to brace her up, mighty God, be her rock. Ah, kosha tarabasatai. When all hell around her, give we a mighty God of Daniel. Be all her hope and steer, mighty God of Daniel. Ay, kosha tarababakuturubushatai. Mighty God of Daniel, anoint her from the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For this time and this season, mighty God, you have called her to do a work, mighty God of Daniel. Equip your daughter as such, mighty God, that she will go forth with boldness, mighty God, and she will open her mouth and say, Thus saith Almighty God. We come against wavering spirits in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against a in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. Everything that the enemy is planning right now. Jesus. According to the mission, what you have called her mm. to do, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Moses has lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Mm. I lift up your daughter to you today, God. Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Pika Koshatai. Pika Koshatai. Your servant here is today, God. Pika Koshatai. Rabasatai. I, God Almighty, and let her have no inkling, God, that it is not you who is speaking to her. We come against every doubt. We come mm. against every fear. We come against mm. every naysayer. We come against Hallelujah. every hero. We come against Hallelujah. every hero. We come against every Goliath. We come against every wall of Jericho. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. We come against. Hallelujah. We come against every river Jordan yes, that Lord. wants to block her. Rabba Kushata Rabba Satai. We come against every here man. We come against every Sambalata. We come against every Tobiasa. We come against every Jezebel. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus of Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Oh God Almighty. Continue Hallelujah. to uphold her with your righteous right hand. Thank you, Jesus. And let your will be done in her and through her. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Bless God. Jesus. 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 Mama kuturubu shata. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba baba kushata. Hallelujah. Mighty, mighty, mighty man of war. Mighty. Rabu shata. Mighty. 